Hi, welcome to the Maximal Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. In this video, we will walk through creating a work week list in the graphical scheduler application. Let's start out by navigating to the planning and scheduling menu and selecting graphical work week. So just like in the scheduler application, we can create a new work list by clicking new work list, but this time we're going to use a different option. We're going to use create work list from schedule. So what this is going to do is use our data, our settings from the schedule we just created and bring it into our work week list. So I'll click on that. We'll navigate to the schedule that we want to create it off of. So this was my weekly schedule and click OK. Next, we need to give it an ID. So for this, I'm just going to do work week schedule and we can leave the same description or change it if you want. We've got pretty much the same settings we had in our schedule. So we've got our calendar and our shifts selected. We also have the same dates. You can change those dates or leave them the same. You can set it up as a rolling so that those dates change each week. We also have this, some of the same settings like top level. If we only see, want to see the top level work orders, we can do that. It also brings in our query, so it's using the same query based on what we used in our schedule. The only time you need to add anything into the restricted resource availability is if you want to bring in or exclude certain resources. Otherwise, you don't have to add anything there. So now we're going to go ahead and click Save. And we'll go over to the graphical view. So in our graphical view, we just have the same four quadrants that we have in scheduler. So we have our work order data, our resource data. What's a little bit different about our resource data is now we're looking at it at the individual instead of at the craft level. We still see the craft roll up. So we see the availability of our craft overall, but then we also see it on an individual level. If we scroll down some, we can see we have our construction workers, our electricians. So we can collapse that just to only see it at the level, the craft level, or then we can expand it to see it at all the individual levels. And then up here we have our timeline again to where our work orders are scheduled. So we can see the statuses, what status the work orders are in, whether they're assigned or not. And what's different in here is, so you can see we have like duplicate work order numbers. It's because each item that has a requirement on it will come over as a separate line item in the work week application. So that allows you to assign each individual requirement and you can move from week to week just using the week buttons up there and that moves it from week to week. You can scroll down to see the next set of work. So now we're looking at the next week. And you can make your assignments move work around if you need Thank to. Thank you very much for watching this video.